With electoral violence now a common feature in Nigeria's electoral process, civil society organizations in Nigeria are calling on the National Assembly to pass a bill creating a National Electoral Offenses Commission. Adele Jinadu of the Center of Democracy and Development, CDD, and Awa Rafasan Jani of the Civil Society Legislative Advocacy Center, SISLAC, made the call in Abuja during the CDD Election Analysis Center post-election conference. The need for the establishment of the commission, according to the political experts, stems from the observations during the 2023 governorship and state assembly elections, where violence was well pronounced. They believe that if electoral offenders are prosecuted going forward, it will serve as a deterrent and there is the tendency for reduced voter apathy during elections. We should borrow a leaf from Kenya we are after the post-election violence in 2007-2008, they set up a national, a, a, a national commission for integration and cohesion, which criminalizes the use of hate speech. I think we, we need to fight vigorously for that because otherwise we will be going on a, on a descent down into, into, the, into the library. I think also, as we said on Friday, the press also have a duty not to pro provide a platform for prominent politicians who want to, to uh, inflame hate speech. I was worried because prominent, uh, ma even mainstream platforms offering politicians a platform to, 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 to profile ethnic groups. And I think that, sh that should be discouraged. That is not just a matter, of, that, is, that is a limit to free speech. Free speech is not absolute. And when the press, encourages and provides platform for prominent policies, including even governors. That's a very, very serious um, uh, deficit in our efforts to consolidate democracy. We must not reward impunity and violence to people who have you know, grossly uh, violated the law. Secondly, uh, it's very clear as a way of minimizing the cost of violence, electoral violence in this country. Mm. We still need to revisit the demand of civil society to establish uh, electoral offenses commission because the way things are going now if you don't have that you know commission to deal with you know uh, electoral offenses at various tiers of government you will just you know be doing window dressing because a state attorney general you know will be the only person if he likes to present any electoral offenses to the court if he does not or she does not you know, take interest in that, it means that people will continue to perpetrate electoral offenses and they get away with it. 